when you have that kind of success and you've had so many just cool experiences already in the last several years, is it scary to have your sophomore album out, which many artists refer to as the sophomore It's terrifying. Slump, slump yeah. yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm terrified. Well, on the bright side, and no extra pressure, but Entertainment Weekly said this is uh, one of the most anticipated albums of 2017. You said that with a little more feeling, in quotations. Well, I'm like this for him. Like, <laughs> this is one of the most anticipated albums of 2017. There you go. I've, better. I have written like probably 200 songs for it. We've changed the single like four times. We've changed like four of the album cuts four times. Like I've just overthought every bit of it because I'm just trying to make it as perfect as I can. But I think as of last week, we're finally like, okay, let's lock the door. It's done. Like stop overthinking it. Just you believe in it. Just do it. Awesome. So is I there one done. song that you're super excited about more than any other? Mm. I, I really love all of it down to the bonus tracks because I I'm overthought all of it down to the bonus tracks. Is that tracks. you trying not to give a title away? No. One last good. question. Is there one song that you're most excited to create the music video for? Mm. The single. What's the name of it again? <laughs> I can't tell you. You don't know. It might change in three days my, again. For, when, I, when I made my first record, the two things I didn't know about were putting together a live show because I never toured before and making a music video. And so those were kind of like my filters for this record to like make sure I could see something in my head for a video and to make sure it would translate live. So that helped me. Okay.